Hey everybody, uh, we got our first round of seed in for the season yesterday, uh, so I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about what information is on a bag of seed that is important to me. Okay, so let's break down a, a seed tag for you. We got three pallets of corn here, one more over there, and I got four what you would call pro boxes, uh, bulk boxes of soybeans. So. Let's take a look at this corn tag first, see what it, what it can tell us. So pull this tag off so we can look at it. Uh, at the top there, we've got the variety, 42D843. Relative maturity, 112 day. Um, that's an indication of how long it takes the plant to mature. Um, we plant, oh, 108 day to 115 day. Um, so that it's not a uh you know black and white you know this many days the corn is going to be ready um and at maturity um that's why it's called relative and it's not exactly uh standard across companies either but it's a reference and one thing you'll see about this bag there's actually two varieties in here um the bulk of it 94 percent of it is this 42d843 and there's another 5% in there, and we will talk about what that is. You can see they're both tested uh, in December and November last year, just a couple months ago, um, for the germination, 95%, which is what we like to see. It came from Indiana and Illinois. And that gets tested um, for sale in Indiana. State chemist requires that be done every, every nine months. So let's say this bag sat unsold of the lot number right there that would need to be retested so they get new tags and some other info there inert matter it's just other other stuff that might be in there 0.4 percent 0.6 percent is potentially other crop seed and of course we like to see that none on weed seed and noxious weeds we got enough weeds we don't need to be bringing in more so that's important now down here you got this um VT Double Pro Rib Complete. What does that mean? So VT Double Pro, what that means is we have two modes of protection, um, above ground protection, to basically protect the ears uh, with a BT trait from corn earworm. So uh, I don't raise sweet corn, but you ever see some of those worms? In your sweet corn um, they're not going to get in here uh, there's also bt sweet corn so if this was a, um, a vt triple pro or a smart stacks i would also have corn rootworm protection um, i'd have below ground and above ground we've had very very low corn rootworm pressure here the last few years um, so we got away from the triple pros and the smart stacks here for a while um, save some money for uh, something we don't really need right now so what else is on here um, flip over on the back it'll tell you all about the seed trim if you can see that um, that acceleron is protecting us from insects and and disease it'll tell you all about the pesticides that are on there so uh, seed treatments are nice um, it's right on the seed doesn't require you know a li liquid application through the planter of any of those protectants or uh, a sprayer pass later and it's right there on the seed really targeted application there's also info on the bag itself so you got the lot number and excuse me variety again 80,000 kernels um, pretty much all your seed corn there's 80,000 kernels in there what I'm interested in is the seeds per pound 1421 so I got a chart in my planter book which will tell me which seed plate to use um, based on the vacuum. Um, uh, there's a vacuum that pulls the seeds onto the cells of the seed plate. So 14, 21 seeds per pound here. Let's go to this 48, 14 variety over here. I got 16, 23. Possible those may use different plates. We got a standard corn plate and we got a small corn plate. So that'll tell us which one is the right one to use on that chart. And we also grow popcorn so we have a special popcorn plate um, 
So actually we had pretty big popcorn seed last year, so we actually used the small corn plate instead of the popcorn plate, according to the chart. So we want to go look at these soybeans here, basically the same information, uh, the variety. It's 2480 CR2. This is telling me that this is a maturity group 2.4. So for us, that's a little bit of an early maturing soybean. Got your germ, 85% tested just this year. Just This is March. That was just tested in January. Seeds per pound. There's 3,150 seeds per pound in here, which that will be good. I will, uh, when I fill up with these, I will be able to pack a few more in there and uh, plant a few more acres as compared to this um, little bigger seed, um, about 600 less per pound. Do have a little better, slightly better germ on this one. Um, 40 units in a box and there's 140,000 beans approximately in a unit and that's about what I plant. So basically 40 acres to a box and you can see this is a 3005 so this is a uh, 3.0 maturity so it takes a little longer to develop than those 2480s. Uh, these 2480s um, been planting them for a few years we put them on where we plant our um, cover crops um, try to get these off a little earlier if we can get some more sunlight get those cover crops going before winter sets in so anyway that's some of the important stuff that a farmer like myself needs to know when we check out a bag of feed uh, thanks for watching and uh, sure to keep up with me Facebook, uh, blog, thefarmerslife.com, Twitter, um, all at the, at the Farmer's Life. So just look them up and stay tuned. Thank you.